soccer is back as today I am going to Santa Clara University and going to Steven Stadium to watch a college soccer game between Santa Clara Broncos versus Georgetown Hoyers. Now, it is the season home opener for Santa Clara University, and in fact, it's the first game for both of these teams to, to open up their 2023 college soccer season, and there's no doubt for the Broncos coming into this game, it's going to be a big test for their season opener facing against a Georgetown Hoyers team that is ranked number 17 in the country in the preseason poll, and they're definitely going to be favorites coming in to this one. So, yeah, let's see how this game is going to turn out for this season opener for both of these teams. Let's go soccer! So we have just arrived here at Santa Clara University, as that sign on the left says. And also, there is the stadium right there behind those trees. It's a quick five-minute walk to the front of the entrance. So we have just arrived here inside the stadium, and as you can see, both teams are doing their pre-game warm-up. I believe these are the Santa Clara Broncos players doing their pre-game warm-up. And over there on the far side are the Georgetown Warriors players doing their pre-game warm-up. It took about 20 minutes before the beginning of this match. And now it looks like both team is heading to the center circle. And in just a bit, we're going to get ready for the start of this match between Santa Clara Broncos and Georgetown Warriors. Oh, a first opportunity here, and it's in! It's 1-0 Georgetown, and well, that... Is definitely going to go down as one of the fastest goal ever scored in the Sports Hop series. I didn't even get a chance to and say we are underway as Georgetown has taken a 1 0 lead. You can see the away fans down there, they're celebrating. And well, that's a dream start for the visitor, but a nightmare start for Santa Clara Broncos. Definitely isn't that Ross as well. The keeper had to make a save here and again. Warriors are on the front foot here. There's just really no rust in terms of the new season. They're definitely firing away early in this game. Here comes a free kick slash kind of a corner right on that byline on the left. Cross whips in and no one was there to tap it in from a close range. Well, it is 2-0 in favor of Georgetown. And, well, I didn't get this on clip, but... It was an absolute howler by the keeper as that goalkeeper, he was trying to play out of the back and an Elevai pass, which gave it right to one of the Hoyers attacker and just an absolute gift of a goal there for the visitor. Speaking of which, here comes Santa Clara. Oh, that's a great ball. And well, the keeper is able to gather that one. I think he was always going to get to it as Oh, and that's a mistake, and here comes the Broncos. Can they take advantage of it? And it's just high as well. That was the best chance of the night for the Broncos, and one that Georgetown might have got away with it because it was a sloppy giveaway from their perspective, and they are very fortunate that that player did not make them pay for that sloppy giveaway in their own end. Five, four, three, two... One, and that zero. is the end of the first half as it's halftime here at Steven Stadium in Santa Clara. And it's Georgetown Warriors with a 2-0 lead over Santa Clara Broncos. So it's halftime here at Santa Clara Dallas University State, and Georgia. here at Steven and Stadium. Portland, it's the State visitor State Georgetown Warriors with a 2-0 lead over Santa Clara Broncos. And certainly Georgetown got off to a flying start in their new season. In fact, they scored one of the fastest goals I've ever seen in the Sports Hop Series just 12 seconds in. And then uh, not long after, they got that second goal after just a terrible giveaway there from the Broncos goalkeeper. I mean, when you're trying to play out of the bag as a goalkeeper, you always got to be very careful. And he wasn't. He played it straight to one of the Hoyers attacker. And that attacker basically hits it into the empty net for the second goal. But after that, you know, the Broncos did start to get back into this game. They did create it a couple of half chances. But certainly in this first half, it is pretty clear that Georgetown has been the better team. And they're looking to try to wrap it up here in the second half. And let's see whether or not if they can do so getting that third goal or will the Broncos make some adjustment here in the second half maybe get one back to make this game interesting now it looks like both team is back on the pitch and in just a bit we're going to get ready for the start of the second half between Georgetown Warriors and Santa Clara Broncos that one is 
been taken away, but now it's given right back, and it's just wide as that one might have even nicked the left side off the poles. Corner. Corner gig for the Broncos. Right here for the Broncos. I'm looking to see how they do on the set piece as this one is flicked in. It's loose in the 18 yard box, and now that one is going to go wide as well, the Warriors had some issue there trying to clear their lines, and in the end, it's just a tame effort that goes way wide. Instead, that's a great challenge, and now here comes Georgetown. It's a two on three situation as he's trying to weave this one on the left, and it is a smart save there from the keeper as. Well, Georgetown almost shut the door there. That opportunity, but it is going to be another corner coming up for the visitor. There's a corner for the Broncos. They're looking at trying to get one back. It's a decent one, and the keeper had to tip it over as that actually is going to be a goal kick. Santa Clara again, and again, there are some space. Oh, that's a great ball, and it is saved by the keeper. Still another opportunity, and it's in! It's 2-1 now as it's game on here at Stevens Stadium. And this game is not over yet as the Broncos has got one back, and we indeed will have a grandstand finish here in these last 10 minutes. This game is that when you're leading 2 nothing, that's always a dangerous score. And now the ball clicks in, and it's in! The Broncos has tied this game up as they have now tied it at two apiece. And in a span of two minutes, they have come from the back from the dead and tied this game up at two apiece. And again, the fans celebrate there in the stands. And, well, in a blink of an eye, the Broncos were 2-0 down, now tied it up at two apiece with about 10 minutes to go. Surely the Broncos can't completely turn this game around, can they? As once again, it's not dealt very cleanly, and it is gathered by the keeper. And wow, right now, Georgetown is absolutely rattled now as they are just scrambling here in these last couple of minutes and show some urgency. Didn't look like they were going to tie it up, but instead, here comes Georgetown, and it's in! It's 3-2 in favor of Georgetown, and, well, just as you fought the momentum, it was going to be heavily favoring the Broncos. They immediately stormed back to retake the lead, and you can see what it means to those players as, well, this game has definitely turned up to 11, and it's... Maybe college soccer after dark too, because in a span of five minutes, we have seen three goals and the Warriors after blowing a two nothing lead it now retake the lead and it's now three two. The Broncos maybe tie it up again and here they come again on the attack and the keeper comes off his lines and is that a penalty? Referee says no as well, those Broncos players, they're absolutely incensed. They feel like it should have been a penalty, but the referee says no, it's just going to be a goal kick. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. That is the full-time whistle. Full-time here at Santa Clara University. And after just a crazy final 15 minutes in this game where we and saw three goals in a span of game. six final minutes, two, Georgetown Hoyer is able to hold on and win 3-2 in this game over Santa Clara Broncos. So shifts finish here at Stevens Stadium at Santa Clara University as in the end it's Georgetown Hoyers able to hold on to win 3-2 over Santa Clara Broncos and man that last 15 minutes was some classic college soccer after dark moments because just as you thought that the Hoyers were going to hold on to a comfortable 2-0 lead in the last 15 minutes the Broncos storm back and score two goals in a span of two minutes to turn the game on its hands and just as you thought that they were going to come all the way back and get the win and have all the momentum the Hoyers were able to retake the lead with nine minutes to go and they were able to hold on to the lead but uh if you not include what we saw in the last 15 minutes of this game I think overall when you look at the grand scheme of things the Hoyers deserve to get the win in this one but that definitely is not the way they thought that they were going to get all 
three points tonight and get their first win of the season. But they'll take it as they get their first win of the season. And the Broncos, you know, to their credit, even though they lost this one, they were able to battle back and fought hard against one of the, the best team in the nation. As I mentioned, you know, the Hoyers are ranked number 17 in the nation, and they almost pull off a bit of an upset in this game by getting a draw. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys like, smash the subscribe button. And yeah, I, of course, will see you guys next time with another Sports Hop Series episode.